Check out this Tesla. Now this is aluminum. Anytime you get a crease right next to the edge on aluminum, <laughs> that needs a lot of power. So I'm ready for it. Um, I got my hood prop set up. And atop my hood prop, I have some notches so it could really uh, grab an edge really well. You know, on these cars, you have good open access through these two kind of handle poles. And they pop out pretty easy with the tabs around it. Pretty easy thing to do. And they go back in pretty easy too. So this enables a lot of open access in Teslas. Got to watch out for the wiring, but uh, not a problem. This dent here happens to be lined up pretty well. So I'm going to move it with some real power and then slap down the crown at the same time. And I'm going to do that with my 35 Heavy. Got a little bend at the end of it just so I can kind of make the make the angle and really push up on that with a ton of power so let's get it up inside there all right i'm in <laughs> So I got a lot of power now. So what I'm going to do is literally just rest my body on this and then take my slapper tapper and while I'm pushing it out, I'm going to tap down my crown right here. So that's my strategy on a deep dent on a Tesla with good open access for PDR techs. And even better if you're using a 35 Heavy. I bent up the 35 Heavy just right to get around the bracing and really finish this car off. Um, let's take a look where we're at with it. Damage was right there. Just a few more wiggles to go and I'll be done. Very difficult spot right next to the edge and you really had to slap this down just right. Otherwise, once you dimple that, then you got to take apart this this whole thing and get another setup going. Um, so I got it all done with one tool, 35 Heavy from DentDial.com. Tesla, great combination, and you don't have to take anything apart. Thanks for watching.